Hey everyone, it's Aaron Schechter from the Wet Shaver Review and 365shaves.com minus the chin strap beard. I did shave it off this morning with my 6 8 Spanish Point Ralph Oust razor, straight razor. And let me tell you, I definitely doled that blade out today. Um, that straight razor is going to have to hit that 12K. Um, most definitely, without a doubt. I had so much, uh, my hair grows very thick and coarse. And by the time I got done doing my against against the rain passes, I was tugging something fierce on, on that Ralph House. That's how thick the hair was, even though I used a buzzer to, to buzz down the chin strap that used to be here. Get up a little bit closer into the uh, frame so you could kind of see a little bit better. But, yep, she's all gone. So, as they say in the mustache, uh, uh, handlebar mustache club, I definitely am beard free and have graspable appendages uh, uh, for my facial hair. So I do now meet the requirements as a full member and not a friend or a, a fellow or part of the, the UK beard club. So anyway, moving forward, I had a couple questions on my post, uh, you know, my shave of the day, which I thank everyone for reading. I, I really do appreciate everyone taking the time to read the shave of the day and to like the post and to make some comments on it. I, I really appreciate that. Um, one of the first questions that came in was if I could describe the moisturizing pre-shave butter balm by How to Grow a Mustache. If you notice, I'm also, I might have to step up on my tippy, tippy toes, but I'm actually wearing my How to Grow a Mustache uh, pin today actually to work. I wore it. It's just uh, something about just, just having a handlebar and that little pin was just kind of cool to me. So anyway, what makes this different from a pre-shave oil or or other products that are used as pre-shaves or even like the pre-shave soap that Synergy or Razor Rock makes is that this is a butter. This is, it has, I believe, cocoa butter. Let me see here. Cocoa butter, coconut oil, shea butter, sweet almond oil, castor oil, beeswax. This is not a soap. There's no sodium or potassium hydroxide in here. This is not a saponified product. This is not a soap. This is like taking a, um, like shea butter and, you know, using it as a lubricant on your skin to add glide. I would say this is very similar in nature to the feeling of the Parasso pre-shave, but it's different because it doesn't have potassium hydroxide in it, so it's not offering any type of alkalinity which will soften the hair. This product right here is really meant to add glide to your shave. I'm actually really enjoying this. I bought this, um, this is my, I believe my third use with this. Bought this from Douglas at How to Grow a Mustache the same time I bought the Barber Soul and a couple other products for him, from him. And um, I, on, on a whim, said, let me just buy this. You know, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was only like $6.99. And I said, let me give it a go. And actually, me, who I don't usually use pre-shaves. I don't even usually endorse pre-shaves. Um, I'm really enjoying using this. I've been using it with all my shaves as of late. And I've found that, especially when you're doing something like removing a lot of hair, you want to use something. As much slickness as you could give yourself, go for it. It's a good idea. Okay, so that's basically the How to Grow a Mustache Pre-Shave Butter Bomb. Now, the other question I had was, can I describe the fine line of aftershaves? Well, there are a lot of different ones. Like today I use the Clean Vetiver by Fine. Um, you also have the orange noir or the uh, the black orange or the dark orange. Um, you have the American blend, which is what I'm going to be using with the How to Grow a Mustache Barber Soul. Um, you have, which is a classic barbershop scent. The other is an orange. The other is the scent of vetiver. Then I have Snake Bite, which is kind of like an Osage rub, Osage rub, um, in the sense that, <coughs> excuse me, it's hypermethylated. It, this, the methanol on this lasts easily 45 minutes to an hour for me that I actually feel it afterwards. And it smells a lot like Osage Rub. The uh, Platinum, which is the last one I'm going to show you right here, um, has a very sophisticated modern scent. Reminds me a lot of the Creed Adventus, which I think it's actually cloned after scent. Um, the one thing that all fine aftershaves have in common is their ingredients, believe it or not. They all only contain alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. Now, something like Snake Bite has probably a lot more menthol in it than something like Platinum. They're both mentholated, but Snake Bite has more in it. And they all have the same, you know, alcohol, water, fragrance, menthol. So your fragrance is going to be different and it's going to smell different. You might have a different menthol level, 
But besides that, aside from that, I should say, they're really pretty much the, the same constitution, just different ratios of the constituents inside of the actual aftershave. I personally love fine aftershaves because they're fine. What can I say? They're fine aftershaves. Um, in all seriousness, the type of alcohol I think that they're using is very, very mild on the skin. It does not dry your skin out like, let's say, like a... Um, like uh, isopropyl, I have isopropyl alcohol right over there. Like isopropyl alcohol, which will dry your skin out or anything like that. So I've noticed, like, when the first time I used Snake Bite, I um, put it on. I said, oh my God, I can't believe that this menthol kick is lasting like 45 minutes to start with. And second, my skin feels wonderfully moisturized after using an alcohol based aftershave. Well, after a little bit of correspondence with Mr. Fine himself, come to find out that that's part of the magic of fine accruements aftershaves is that the type of alcohol they use and the products that they use actually are not overly drying like a lot of the other classic aftershaves or other aftershaves that are on the market. So that being said, I hopefully answered both questions that were asked and in lieu of a picture, you have a video of my, uh, of my mug shot with, uh, with my moustache only in effect. So that being said, I'm Aaron from 365 Shaves and the Wet Shaver Review. God bless and it is Friday. Kick your weekend off right and enjoy. God bless. Bye bye.